Good night, their dealer man. The kings are woken and will not be laid to rest. Wake your asses up. The king of skulls. I mean, I already fought one king. So, like, what's another one, right? Right. Minus 10 max health whenever I gain a new curse. Great. Performing a prone finisher inflicts five damage. Oh! All right. The undead king. In life, he was strong. In death, he's unstoppable. Your road will end here, I suspect. Dude, you've been saying that for like five fights now. I don't want to hear it. Why shop a card in my deck all of a sudden instead of just the thing that he puts out? Huh. Playing with King of Skulls. Wait, that's not how that song goes at all. I won this pentacle longer ago than you can imagine. I can imagine pretty far back. Many years, I have only now begun to understand its secrets. So why are you giving it to me? Hey, Spider, why are you giving it to me if I win? Why would I want it? The King of Skulls is the last of the undead to have slipped from my grasp. You are the first to come close to him. Okay. I I like a Helm of Reflection for free. Sure, that works. Boom. A wife's fury, oh god. You are braver than I if you're willing to get involved in a marital dispute. While traveling through a small town, you're accosted by a furious woman who shouts at you from the door of her homestead. You there! You look like you can handle yourself! My husband was supposed to be home hours ago, but instead he's with his pals. Drinking away all our coin. Th hey, what was that? And packs with the six month sub. Why, thank you. Welcome back to the pool. They left the spoils from the latest job here. If you go and teach them a lesson, you can take your pick. What do you say? Sure. Now here's someone with some sense. I would go crack his skull myself, but our dragon cow is birthing a litter and might burn the whole place down. Ah. Her husband is the Jack of Dust. Okay, corner the woman's husband at the local tavern. He's busy playing a drinking game with his friends. Let's try this one first. Oh God, all right. Huge success. Choose from these options. I don't know, this one. What's been? I hear worse threats from my wife every day of the week, he scoffs. Okay. Sup, nerds? Dodge. I didn't dodge. Dodge. I didn't dodge that either. No, don't do that. No, don't do that! Oh! That guy, not you. No. No. Oh. <laughs> we'll get him. Dodge. I, I only pressed 
press the button exactly one time. I definitely didn't do that again. Okay, Jack, you're a jerk. That did say Dragon Cow. Return to the woman, bringing her battered husband with you. Just drop him in a corner and take what you want from this rubbish, she says, handing you a sack. Choose a card to keep. Well, I want to know what this is. What is this? 50% chance to grant ah, one free artifact used for combat. Good luck with it. Or I could get a better weapon. Nah, I'll take the shield. Yay! Thank you for the token! Ah! Back to the landlocked lubber. We play for a token now. Of course we do. We return to the landlocked lubber and find it somehow even emptier than before. Carlo is entertained by the story of your time in Nolwich. You explain that you were told you'll need a high binder to find the missing ships. Carlo laughs. It's not a high binder, it's the high binder. He's a broker of information. If he knows anything about the missing boats, then he'll tell us if we can pay his price. Okay, I'll contribute what I can towards the high binder, but as you see, the tavern business hasn't made me a rich man. He'll accept any currency, but we'll have to provide enough to make it worth his while. Ah, fine. Now I'm out of food. Maiden? Lionel. Again, a token is at stake. Ahoy, lad. The, lad. the enigmatic goblin Mr. Lionel climbs out of a barrel behind a tavern as you pass through a small village. Because of course he does. Made from refinements to the magic device, I think we'll do better this time if we take another shot at those treasure vaults. You see, goblins sometimes hide their best treasure, magic items and such like, in enchanted treasure chests. Magic Amulet will now reveal these to us if there should be one in any treasure vault we happen to visit. Sure, why not? Under the blazing sun of a nameless desert, you and the goblin find a door partially buried beneath the shifting sands. You can keep whatever gold you recover. Remember to look around for treasure chests. Be sure to hold something worthwhile. Alright, Lionel. I'll play your game. Goblin. treasure chest. Did I miss something? There must be one in there somewhere. You're not looking hard enough. He stalks off in the desert and twists, quickly disappears among the dunes. Were there multiple paths and I just didn't see them? Is that what just happened? Alright, White Council. No problem. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. I'm sure. On a fine sunny day, you set out into the forest, hidden in a barrel on the wagon of Terran the Merchant. Your destination is the White Council Stronghold. After what seems like hours, a deep voice calls out, HALT! Terran yelps in surprise and the wagon stops. You hear Terran greet someone. Ah, hello, my lord. I have your usual shipment here. Nothing interesting to say about it. You cringe in your barrel. Is that so? The other voice remarks casually before falling silent for some time. Then, here's your payment. You hear the click of gold coins. Suddenly, there's a blinding white light. When your vision clears, you dare look out from your place of concealment. You see that you and all the stock from Terran's wagon are now sitting in the middle of a stone hall inside a circle of runes and symbols. A trio of poorly dressed goblins set to work, sorting everything into a storage room on one side under the supervision of a bored-looking mage. All right, three successes and a failure, no problem. This one? 
Oh, for freaking god. One of the goblins spots you and gives a loud holler. Holler. Mage flicks his wand and the circle of runes on the floor begins to glow. You appear back on the path somewhere in the forest. The Wyatt Council has escaped your righteous vengeance this day. Damn it! One in four and I find What it. an ignominious way to go. I do hope you find something to eat soon. Yeah, I do too. Previously, I had underestimated you. Then, I resented you for destroying my minions. Now, however, I cannot lose. By the way, a great annoyance is dealt with. Okay. The Hanged Man. A curse. We can only hope. Shut up. One day, while traveling through a forest, you come across a man hanging by his ankle. You inquire about his current predicament, but he explains he does not want any help. I've accepted the destiny that fate has decreed for me, just like you should accept yours. I got a lizard eater. Receive one food Many for every lizard blessings kill. are too good for the likes of you. That's kind of gross. Cowardice. God almighty! Oh, that is one of my favorites. You leave the clearly deranged man to his fate, since that's what he wants. Alright, I found the exit. Go pick up the metal ore. No, I don't. Because I'm gonna freaking die. What brings you to play the game? Ha. Shop. No, you not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Uh. What am I up against? The King of Skulls? I should take the Undead Bane. Thanks! Food gain card, please be a lot. Ten! Oh my god. That's what shop is. Okay. Another hanged man. Damn it. More ill fortune. More injury added to insult. Self-righteous. On any hit, the player inflicts two more damage for each blessing they possess. Cool. Last man standing. The last enemy alive can I no longer be stunned long and Okay, that's not so bad. Particularly painful. Ingenious, Although I did just get minus 10 health. Don't you think? Shut up. Uh, Twisted Canyon for a weapon I don't want. Leave it. Because I already have the, uh, the... The undead thing. What is it called? The one that I've got. <laughs> you know, words and talking. Fifty and sixty? Jesus Christ, dude. Alright. Let me sell my axe. Yep. Let me sell my shield. Yep. anymore. Should probably buy some food. 18. Yeah, I just don't want to starve to death. Okay. Terrible. The Maiden. Longer life supplies. Gold asked to be. Give me a blessing. Arcane knowledge. I don't God's have any artifacts. Upon you favorably. But okay, sure. Thanks, lady. A helpful priest. I don't want to give you half my food. <laughs> I'm blessed enough, thanks. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. <gasps> Why do I have hiccups? Another curse. You're not having much luck right now. I'm really not. Holy touch. Useful. Undead that physically strike the player may receive damage themselves. That is useful. Money bags. Movement speed I is reduced by how much gold Well, I don't have any freaking gold, quest. so that's fine. Still got minus 10 HP, though. Holy four. 
times. I didn't get the... ruined monastery. So I didn't sad. get... Yeah, sorry, dude. I was starving to death, so I didn't bother to stop and pick up a hunk of metal. Hope you don't mind. Marketplace. Not What's a good this? day to be in Stiegel. So few are. The town of Stiegel. Selling food today. Oh, great. Bit half my gold. Yeah, hell yeah. Because half my gold is two, so what the hell difference does it make? What? I don't know. This one. Uh, okay. One food gain. Please be more than one. Give me like five. Three's good. And a token. Thanks. This game is stressful. Like any good. Roguelike. Now uh. you have reached a point from which the path ahead is unclear. What will be your solution? I think I will crap myself and cry. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. Well, let's pray to the old gods. Oh my god! Prayers go unanswered, and you're shot by an arrow. I am sorry. Oh my god. I Am I dead? Wow. This game is a dick. I was reflecting. Some I've died in this game. Blood and so the game takes course. another life. Do not worry, though. You may try again. Death in the realm of skulls is unwise. All right, I get the tavern wager. Okay. Get to meet the highbinder. Gain in a merchant's favor. I died. I don't like that at all. Your victories may have made you complacent. Yeah, I think so. 